The Grey Wolf is one of the more territorial animals in the world, with a pack taking up to 200 kilometers squared on average. That is one fifth of the North Island. Okay. Grey Wolves are typically very agonistic to one another, mainly if they are from rival packs. One way a Grey Wolf will avoid conflict among packs is to allow the other pack to join their own. This maneuver not only avoids the interspecific competition, but also strengthens the pack, allowing them to take more land for their territory. For a scenario, let's say a rival pack is trying to assert their dominance and take over a patch of territory from another. The defending pack would either fight to repel the invaders or give themselves over if they knew they could not win without heavy losses. Bottlenose dolphins are one of the most socially advanced animals in the world. A pod of dolphins is led by an alpha male, or in rare cases where no male of suitable size is present, female. The ranking of a dolphin is dependent on relative size and determines which are able to mate in addition to deciding the leader of the pod. Rather than immediately resort to fighting to determine the ranks of two organisms, the more powerful organism will run their teeth across the other, creating superficial scratches. This behavior is known as raking due to the parallel white marks left on the skin of the dolphin. While more aggressive agonistic behavior still occurs between dolphins, Raking allows for organisms to determine the hierarchies without significantly harming one another. As dolphin pods undergo fission and fusion frequently, the reduced aggression between alpha males allow the species as a whole to retain high numbers of large, more fit organisms in their genes. The hierarchical structure also reduces the total number of aggressive encounters between individual organisms, allowing the reduced risk of interspecies aggression to compound with the reduced intraspecies aggression, therefore allowing more of these species to survive and reproduce.